Hi, my name is Wadzi, and before this Minecraft Hardcore series ends, I want to complete every achievement in Minecraft. So today I decided to complete every nether advancement there is, which included taking on a bastion, drinking a lot of potions, and bringing a ghast to the overworld, as well as much, much more. Now, before this video begins, I've got a favor to ask. There's a large percentage of you guys watching this video who aren't subscribed, so if you go on to enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, it takes literally two seconds, and everyone who subscribes is a part of the Wawa army. Alright, let's get into the video. And this video shoutout is coming from... Twitter. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. What's up, Melanie? How you doing? How's the melon farm been? I'm back to plant some more melon. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi, and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. Let's just, let's just get this over and done with, you know? You guys know what's up. Alright, perfect. And just like that, I've added another 200 melons to the melon farm for today. If you want to see how big this farm ends up getting, make sure to subscribe and let's get into the rest of the video. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be doing some more achievement hunting and I think we're going to be doing all the nether achievements. I think we can manage to do all of them. Some of them are not too hard, uh, some of them will be quite easy. So let's uh, first, let's grab a bit of stuff. Grab a bit of our gold here and let's head into the nether. Whoa, you better stay out of my... Uh, okay, so the first achievement we're going to be doing, we're going to be trading piglins with gold. Where are the piglins at? I know they got to be somewhere around here. Oh, hello, here they are. Hey guys, trade me. Give me stuff. Wait, I didn't get the achievement. It says distract them with gold. I think maybe that means they have to be angry at me. There you go. Ah, uh, there Challenge it is. Clear. Now I'm going to keep trading these guys because I want to try and find some crying obsidian if I can. So I'm just going to trade these guys a bunch of stuff. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. That's the stuff. All right, we need a bit more. Yeah, we got to try and make a respawn anchor. So we need a bit of this stuff. Oh my God, I just got an enchanted book. A normal obsidian, not quite what I'm after. Okay, they give me a lot of normal obsidian. I just want crying obsidian right now, please. Enchanted iron boots. That's kind of cool. Hey, we've got five crying obsidian now. A few moments later. There we go, seven crying obsidian. I'm pretty sure I have enough now, so I'm gonna stop trading for now. We got what we need. So the next achievement I might tick off is this Ride a Strider achievement. That shouldn't be too difficult. Pretty sure we can do that straight away. Oh, I'm gonna need a saddle too. I didn't think about that. Stupid. All right, there we go. We've got ourselves a saddle now. Now let's go ride a bloody Strider. All right, where are the Striders at? Where are the Striders at? All right, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this splash potion of fire resistance that we got from trading piglins earlier, just in case something goes wrong here. Now we're gonna come over, chuck the saddle on this fella. Get on him. Let's go. Come on, so let's speed it up. Let's speed this up. I thought these things got really fast. Well, this, this is kind of anticlimactic. And that's why I put on fire resistance. All right, and for the next advancement, we're gonna go for this one, charge a respawn anchor to the maximum. So this is what I needed my crying obsidian for. So let's head off, let's go find ourselves some glowstone. We're gonna need it. Perfect. Oh God, what are you doing here? All right, now to craft this thing. Now, this is literally the most useless thing ever to me because I'm playing in hardcore, so I can't respawn anyway. But I have to do this as an advancement, so where are we going to put this down? I don't know, maybe just like here, that might look cool. You Boom, another advancement metal. done. So for the next advancement, I wanted to complete this lodestone one. However, in order to make a lodestone, I would need one netherite ingot. So I shifted my focus instead onto entering and looting a bastion, so I could hopefully get the netherite I required, while also ticking off some more achievements as I went. So fortunately, I know of a bastion that I have not yet looted, so I'm going to travel to that now, out across this way. Oh my gosh, I think I take a turn here, it should just be out this way. Huh, maybe I don't know where this thing is. So that's the first one I ever found. I'm pretty sure the other one was out like this way somewhere. 
Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Alright, here's the bastion. Let's take this thing on. Okay, I feel like I'm not meant to be up here right now. Okay, it's definitely interesting. What have you got up here for me? Technically, we only need to find one chest and we can be done with this. But if I can, I do want to find some more netherite scrap. All right, I think we're in the clear to loot this chest. So let's... Uh... Okay, well, that actually solves a lot of my problems. I just straight up found the lodestone. I'm technically, I'm done here. There's got to be more loot around here. There's got to be. I mean, okay, like, what is this? Three gold blocks. I'll take it. Oh, whoops. Okay, this is terrifying. Oh gosh, where's the loot? Come at me. <gasps> Chest, hello. Okay, well, I... Boring. Look, all right, you know what? I've ticked off my two achievements that need to be done. I've got a lodestone. I'm just gonna head home. All right, now it's time to put down our lodestone. Maybe it might be cool if we put that across here. So now if we use our compass, we now have the nether compass, which locks on to the lodestone. And now we will always know our way back home when we're in the nether, which is great to have. Now we've been flying through the achievements and this leaves us with only three more achievements left. So one, we have to get a ghast into the overworld. We need to do a furious cocktail, which is also going to be kind of hard. And another one is the beaconator, which is bring a beacon to full power. That is quite easy. We can do that right now. Fortunately, right now, I have way more iron than I'm ever going to have any use for. I mean, if we open this chest, like, just look at how many iron blocks I have. It's, it's kind of gross. The hardest bit about this is definitely just going to be digging out the area. Also, oh no. Uh, we're going to have to move this beacon because we're going to run into our, uh, our pit of dogs. Bruh. Yeah, let's do the beacon like out here, like right here. This will do. So wait, hang on. Is a fully powered beacon three levels or four? Ah, it's four. All right, let's try this thing again. Did I do it? What did I do wrong? There it is. All right, and that only leaves two more advancements left and we will be completely done with all the nether achievements. Water checkpoint. This is the part of the video where we all pause the video, go get some water and stay hydrated. All right, now we've all got our water, let's drink up. Cheers. And also just a friendly reminder, little plug, go check out my second channel. I'm posting Reddit videos, reaction videos, random things over there. I'm posting over there once a week and I feel like a lot of you might enjoy those videos. So check it out, link in the description. So the next advancement I've chosen to focus on is a furious cocktail, which pretty much just requires us to craft just about every potion ever. So there's a lot of potions we already have sorted out. That's including strength, fire resistance, speed, slow falling, water breathing. We need to make one, some regeneration potions. All right, so the next potion we need to do is we need to do night vision. All right, we also need to make potions of invisibility. Now, if we just go right ahead and add a fermented spider eye to blank potions, I'm pretty sure that will make potion of weakness. Yes, perfect, weakness. Uh, now we need to make a potion of poison. And there's one more thing we need. We need to fly out this way and visit our turtle farm, which we made in the last episode, because we need a turtle shell to make a potion of the turtle master. Hello, hello, here we are. Here is all of our turtles. Gonna grab a few scoots here. Now I'll be back off home, make this last potion. All right, and the last potion we need to make is this turtle potion, I'm fairly sure. All right, and we have all the potions. We're ever gonna need now so first things first i'm gonna change this to jump boost uh so that saves me from making a jump boost potion i'm fairly certain i've done everything here right let's drink some damn potions so water breathing night vision fire resistance strength invisibility slow falling weakness poison regeneration only three more to go 
swiftness, turtle master, and there, oh, yeah, and there we go, and there we go, <laughs> look at all these potion effects, what is going on, this is ridiculous, oh, I'm just, I'm slow, I'm invisible, I'm taking poison damage, oh, this is awful, this is not fun, <laughs> oh, I should have got some milk, oh, I really, I need some milk desperately, okay, this is, this is fun, ouch, ouch, Ouch. Ouch. Let me down. Oh, I have slow falling. I don't have any bad effects on anymore. Ah, oh, whatever. Milk time. With that advancement now done, it meant we only had one left, which would be our most fun advancement yet. We had to get a gas through a portal to the overworld, and then we'd have to kill it. Seems simple enough, right? <coughs> right, so before we head into the nether, for this one, what I want to do... I want to mine some obsidian if I can. So I'm, I'm going to want to build quite a large portal to assist myself in getting a gas through it. So that's why I'm mining some obsidian. Alright, well I've got 51 obsidian now. Surely that is plenty. We need to make ourselves a fair few fishing rods. Alright, let's make this happen. Let's go find ourselves a gas and let's bring it home. <coughs> I am now in a undisclosed location in the nether, as I know that it will be fairly easy to get ghasts to spawn. I'm just gonna run around here for a little while. Surely it won't take too long for a ghast to spawn. Two thousand years later. <gasps> there we go. Alright, um, I guess now we just have to make portal quickly. Oh gosh. Um, I need some temporary blocks for this one. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, okay. Portal lit. Alright, Ghast, you're coming with me. Eh, no, you need to get out of those blocks. You need to get out of those blocks, mister. No! Ghast shot itself. <laughs> How did the Ghast shoot itself? Despite this minor setback, I had not given up yet. I stuck around waiting patiently for the next Ghast to spawn, and I would not make the same mistakes. Wait a minute, you're exactly what I'm after. Come on, let's go. Yes, come on. Come on, come on my ghast friend. Come on, no, you're going the wrong way. Come back, come back. Yeet, yeet. It's so close, it's so close. Absolute chaos. No, why did I do that? Why? Alright, uh, so I noticed the gas are getting like stuck. I'm gonna do my best to flatten it out to make it easier to get a gas to come over to this portal. Okay, well this isn't too close to our portal, but maybe we can make it work. Oh god. Oh gosh. Come on. Ah. Uh, Alright. Oh, that one block, that one block. Okay. No! What? I worked so hard, I didn't even hit that. But little did I know, this was only the beginning of my issues. Is it, is it, is it, is it? That didn't work? Surely that's working. Why is that not working? What could I be doing differently? What just happened? Try now. That's gotta be it. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Just go through, just go through, just go through, just go through. Just go through. How does that not work? And then I realized maybe it's because I've never gone through the portal myself to begin with. All right, well this is the first ghast I've seen spawn in a long while. I don't know how I'm gonna get it through all these mobs though, but we'll do our best. Oh gosh, and it begins. This way, there we go. And you missed. Okay. Okay. <gasps> we did it! Oh my god, go through, go through, go through, go through, go through. Where is it? No, wait, where is it? Where did I go wrong? As it turns out, there was one final mistake that I made. There wasn't enough room for the ghast on the other side of the portal, so I had to dig out a room big enough for a ghast, and then I head back into the nether for what should be the very last attempt. Oh, 
we've already got a ghast. Oh, this is so perfect. Oh, this is so perfect. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Boom. All right. It's got to be there. It's got to be there. It's got to be there. Yes. 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 It definitely was not the easiest thing I've ever done, but it wasn't that bad. Just like that, we've done every single nether achievement, and yes, I'm aware, there is a hidden achievement here, which is like a furious cocktail, but you have to have like even more potion effects. I have to look into if that's possible. I'm definitely not doing it today, um, but for now, that's all the advancements we're gonna do. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications on because I post videos just like this one all the time, and you'll know as soon as I upload. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. What was that? You've just finished watching the video and you don't know what to watch anymore. Well, why not head over to my second channel, Wad Tui, where I post wacky vlogs and stuff and awesome videos. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just self-promoting, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video.